Control of the House still hangs in the balance with some key races too early to call. Fox News correspondent Alexandria Hoff has the latest from Washington. Republicans are still seven seats away from securing a majority. Right now, 211 have been called in favor of the GOP. Democrats have 204. That tipping point, of course, to 18. And there are still 20 races that are undecided, the majority of those out on the West Coast. In Arizona's first district, you have Democrat Jevin Hodge. He's less than one point ahead of Republican incumbent David Schweikert. That's just about 450 vote difference there. California has the most undetermined races in the state's 13th district. Republican Congressman John Duarte is currently ahead of Democratic challenger Adam Gray by less than 100 votes. And moving a little bit further south to the 47th district, you have progressive rep Katie Porter. She's up about 5,000 votes from Republican challenger Scott Baugh with 72% of the vote in. There's a few reasons why California's count is delayed. This was the first midterm election where all registered voters in the state were sent a mail-in ballot. And those ballots postmarked by Election Day are accepted for up to seven days following. While Republicans are expected to achieve a majority in the House, it is not by the margins that the GOP had anticipated, had desired. And today, New Hampshire's Republican Governor Chris Sununu weighed in on why he feels that is. At the end of the day, you can't govern if you don't win. And all that matters is winning in November. And so a lot of these candidates, I think, forgot that. I think they went way too far right uh, in, in some of their, their primaries. I think they let the media, they let the other side define them. There is still a chance that some House races could head to a recount. Congresswoman Lauren Bobart's race in Colorado being one of them. She currently leads by under 900 votes. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.